America needs to go on the offense and educate its technical students to compete globally. That's what Duke University is doing at its Pratt School of Engineering. Nearly one quarter of its students study abroad before receiving a degree. And Pratt's dean, Christina Johnson, encourages more academic technology programs to do the same. I think a career in engineering today has got to be global. So our students need to understand the international perspective of the technologies, cultural respect and understanding. And I don't think we can guarantee that an engineer educated in the U.S. is going to live their whole career in the U.S. because there's so many companies that we want to work for that are global. So I think this is a really important point that universities are slowly waking up to. I'll give you an example. Less than 5% of the engineers in the U.S. in our schools study abroad. And many of them do not take English as a, a, a language besides English. So this really puts them at a handicap to be competitive uh, globally. As fewer foreign graduates of U.S. schools stay here, Johnson says American universities must work harder to attract homegrown talent to fill the gap. Fewer, we, we've benefited for you know, years about the global brain drain into the U.S. And now the applicants over the last couple of years, since 9-11, to our, from foreign students applying to graduate schools has dropped by 25 percent. And many of our students that are educated here from foreign countries are going back, which is great for that country, but that means we need to backfill those jobs, and we're not seeing that in our institutions. So we need to work on that. We may need to make engineering more exciting. It's a fabulous field. It's a great career. We just have to get that message out. For the new show, this is Eric Chavro.